rolling. Hey everybody, Jamie here from the Enigmatic Nomadics YouTube channel with a very special upload that I'm very excited about. I've been here at the fairgrounds at the location of where the fires were and I met Marcus, him and his family are right next to me in a trailer that somebody is letting them borrow. And over the course of a few days, I've gotten to know Marcus and he has a vehicle, he has a family, a wife and children, and he, well, I'm gonna let him tell the story, but he is open to start life over and pick up a job anywhere. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your skill set? Oh, good morning, my name is Marcus Osborne. Uh, my skill sets lie in that I just recently graduated from Chico State with a political science degree. I was once a mortgage loan officer in, the, in California here in Sacramento. Um, I've learned how to do a multitude of things. Uh, security, I've been correctional uh, certified and trained. So I've also been 832 California trained as well in the powers of arrest. I have worked in auditing, uh, being trained by the city manager, assistant city manager of the city of Chico. I have worked uh, within uh, as an intern for the uh, local politicians here also. Uh, what I really enjoy doing is working with the statutory law and uh, reading and disseminating the statutory law to people who don't quite understand it. Uh, I don't know quite how these skill sets pl play into your job or your career fields that you may have available. But what I'm most interested in is looking towards human resources. I'd like to help people find work and ensure that companies have quality employees. I'd also like to look into uh, contract negotiation uh, or potentially lobbying would be the pinnacle. That'd be my dream job. I don't think anybody goes to school for political science who doesn't want to become either a lobbyist, a contract, uh, a uh, a political consultant, things of those natures. So I mean, lobbying would be the pinnacle that would be the height of all end all get out you know for me what's most important for me at this point in time is that i support my family and take care of my wife my wife is a disabled veteran and she has earned uh, anything and everything that i could possibly do for her through her service and through her commitment to me and my family i love her to death and i thank you guys also i'd like to thank the american people here uh, watching for all the help and support that you've given to us here in Butte County. This is a horrendous fire. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Anytime you see the sun no longer in the sky and it just blacks out the sky, it, it changes your, your worldview and your life. So I thank y'all for your support. I thank you for people who probably can't thank you right now. So uh, that's about it. Jamie, thank you. I got some and, questions uh, for you. I got some yes, questions. sir. So where, what happened to you in this fire? How did it affect you? Uh, for us, we had already gone through a fire last year in 2017 that uh, burned down our house on the 4th of July. And so we lost all the mementos and everything. How it affected me is just seeing how it affected my community. The community's gone. How are you here in a, in a borrowed trailer? Where were you before? Uh, the day of the fire, we evacuated uh, our kids instantly my son instantly got sick we went to my mother's house my mother's 74 75 years old um, and she began to get sick uh, from the same conditions at that point in time we decided that rather than uh, lose my mom to illness uh, being selfish uh, worrying about our own safety we came here to the evacuation center and you can't get to your house right now right no, we cannot. Uh, the roads are frozen over on Highway 32. The service road or uh, trail that leads in that would be an auxiliary, a tree fell in front of it, and Skyway Road is closed indefinitely until they exhume uh, most of the remains that are through Paradise. The process, is a, as we saw in 60 Minutes last night, is, is speeding up due to technology, but uh, it's still a slow process. Are you willing to relocate for a job? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, me and my wife have determined that anywhere in the United States is a acceptable possibility. Uh, we have con have been contacted through our adopt a friend uh, or adopt a paradise family site. We have been contacted by someone in Washington. She says she's willing to help, but it's it's a slow process for her there. Um, and at this point, we're just we're asking to to be. You know, to really relocate and start all over again. 
So do you have a resume ready to go that you could fire off if someone emailed you? Yes, I do. I have resume, I have letters of recommendation that come from the Dean of the Chico State and the Political Science Department, also from a proctor at the uh, Correctional Academy that I attended here in California. Uh, they can call them, contact them at any point in time, and they will give me a recommendation without hesitation. What is your email address that you would like folks to contact you through? Uh, I'd like you to contact me on countyjobosborne at gmail.com. That's C-O-U-N-T-Y-J-O-B-O-S-B-O-R-N-E at gmail.com. All one word. This is what I really like about Marcus, and this is kind of a treat for you if you're looking to hire somebody. This is a very special situation. I used to run a business where I had several employees. If I could get my hands on an employee that had a family and he just lost everything, I know that guy would show up for work and bust his ass. And so this is really a treat. You could hire somebody that's doing okay and maybe they'd do a fine job. I'm not saying they wouldn't. Or you could hire somebody that's hungry, willing to drive anywhere for a job and you know they're gonna be giving it their all and looking to uh, be a shining star. So here's your opportunity for kind of a golden moment for everyone. So I would encourage you to jump on this. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon on the next upload. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.